What's up guys, Panther here, and we are bringing you our APA Season 5 Week 2 battle against K Cray and her LA Spice. So yeah, um, if you caught our Week 1 battle, you know we took a beat down uh, Week 1. We got 5-0'd by General Tar Heel, and uh, that's that's definitely our worst start ever in APA. We, we played really aggressively last week, and... Um, you know, hopefully that taught us some things. We, we made a lot of over-predictions, and you know, it really just ended up uh, costing us there in the long run. But uh, that is the past. We're going to move on to the next batter here, and uh, Kay is that batter here this week. And uh, she is complemented by a very, very frightening team, led by that Mega Alakazam. So as you can see up on the screen, I've got the 6, and I am predicting her to bring just, just that I think uh, has, has the best matchup. Definitely expecting the Crocodile to come. It's one of the moms that she has that can reliably switch into my rolling muck. Um, it's one of her only rockers on her team also. So I think she's going to be relying on that to get her stealth rocks up. Um, Tapu Fini is kind of a mom that's up in the air. I do think Fini could come because my, my team's very fat. So I definitely think the Nature's Madness Taunt set could come. Uh, so I, I think that could that could kind of go as like a straw breaker, so to speak, against my Melodic, against my Clefable, against my Mecha Aggron. Uh, the Mega Zam, I, I do think is coming, and I do think it is going to be a particular set. I think it is going to be a uh, Miracle Eye set, some type of like sub Miracle Eye Shadow Ball Psychic um, hits my team perfectly. So, built the team uh, with my front office uh, this uh, past week. Um, huge shout out to some of my front office guys that put in a lot of work with this team. Uh, Ukubina and Silver really led the way building this particular team here. Uh, and then I've got several others in uh, the, the, the chat. Mid made a good um, suggestion for the melodic set that we'll get to in just a second. Let me make sure this notification is not K. It is not. So let me pop back in here. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, huge shout out to Owen, uh, Mid, and Silver for um, helping me build here this week. But yeah. So I really do think it could be the Miracle Eye set that's going to come on the Mega Zam. Now, we're almost fully Spadef on Muck just to take rocks plus that Miracle Eye Psychic. Unfortunately, it hit me while I was driving around today. I was like, you idiot. Muck gets Psy Shock. And uh, that will Oko. Um, so I think she she's new to Draft League, but she's got some experienced guys helping her build. I think they'll shout out the Miracle Eye set. Um, and they'll, they'll probably predict some type of spadef set, either AV or this uh, the the Ipapa Recycle set. I don't know what berry I am. I may be Ipapa, Figgy, whatever it is in battle. But um, I am the berry set with Recycle, Pursuit, Knock, and Poison Jab on the Muck. I do think that Zam set's coming. Very frightening. But as I was building, um, or as I was thinking about it today, I was running some additional calcs. If it is Psych Shock, it's a lot scarier. My Fable can uh, actually set up on it. So I think I'll be okay there in that regard. Um, but yeah, I do think that'll come. I think the Rotom will come because it, if, if the Tapu Fini comes, the Rotom probably will come just to help check my Electivire plus my Garchomp. If the Fini doesn't come, it's not as necessary because I think the Togekiss will come then. Uh, and Togekiss is a fantastic check to um, Chomp. I played around with the Rocky MZ set, ended up deciding to go with the Choice Scarf set that you guys will see um, here soon. Uh, I think the Gudra will come just because it's excellent at sponge hits, especially from the Zelf. And then finally that Lucario, because it does so good against my defensive core of uh, Clefable and um, Mega Ag. So, yep, yeah, that's K right there. Let me go ahead and add this friend code here real quick. Um, I'm going to pop back in. I'll, I'll see if I have time to uh, go over my team. But if not, we'll just kind of go over it right before the battle starts. All right, guys, we are back. Sorry for that cut. K is uh, streaming right now on Twitch, so... Um, we got a couple minutes to kind of run down the team, so I'm going to run down the team kind of quickly here, just in case she messages me saying she's ready to go. So I've got a mixed defensive uh, melodic here. With Flame Orb, obviously not any defensive investment, because with Flame Orb activated, I can sponge hits from Life Orb Lucario, I can sponge hits from the Crocodile if need be, and then I can sponge hits from other special attackers on, uh, on her team. Uh, this thing obviously is calm natured, so I can take... Um, and has a lot of spadef investment, so I can take special Lucario on as well. This is kind of my dedicated Lucario answer. This thing can come in on it, and um, it, it's not going to be able to do a lot to it, but it can at least scald it, chip it down, so um, Garchomp or Zelf can come in and revenge it if need be. 
talked a little bit about mid suggestion. Mid suggestion was the mirror coat for the Tapu Fini, so I'm probably going to lead with this, hoping he leads Fini, hoping he goes for the Nature's Madness turn one, and I'm able to mirror coat that thing back and knock it out of the game right there, then and there. That's that's the hopeful. Alternatively, he leads with the um, the Rogum, and then I can just mirror coat also, trying to catch something coming in, hoping he she does not go Crocodile uh, to catch the uh, mirror coat. I don't know if she'll see that coming. Like I said, I think this is her like third draft league game. Um, so uh, I don't know what she's seen in the format. I don't know who she has help, helping her build or anything like that either, but I'm sure she has some experienced people kind of in her corner. We have our Spideth Alolan Muck here. It is Max Max, Careful Nature, uh, and then obviously you can see the move. The one you can't see is Recycle and Pursuit. The Pursuit's going to kill... Uh, the Mega Alakazam on the Switch with the speed investment that I predict her to have, uh, the speed investment plus the HP investment that I predict her to have. Now the one thing I'm pretty worried about is the uh, the Miracle Eye set. The, the Miracle Eye set is just going to bop this thing, so um, I am EV'd to live a Miracle Eye Psychic, not a Psy Shock though. So I don't know how I'm going to play it, it all depends on when that thing comes in and what it goes for. If it goes for the Miracle Eye on my Switch, Kind of have to make that decision there in that moment uh, if I think it's going to be Psychic or Psy Shock, uh, or if I think she'll stay in or um, or what exactly. But yeah, so I uh, got the Muck here, and um, it's, it's specifically for that Mega Alakazam. Next we have Clefable. It's Bold, Max Defense, and the Max Defense is for the Crocodile. Uh, so um, that's just really to help with Rocks Plus, Crooks, EQ. So, um, yeah, have Moonlight, Moonblast, Flamethrower, and Calm Mind, and with the Babiri Berry. So the Babiri Berry is to try to catch that Lucario uh, if he wants to go for, like, the Meteor Mash, um, you know, after a boost or something like that. We're going to be able to pick up the uh, the Flamethrower kill or, like, a Nasty Plot Flash Cannon. Um, you know, we can live either of those and uh, do a lot of damage back with uh, Flamethrower, even if it's Life Orb. If it's Z-Move, I'll have to calc that in game. I forget what Z-Move I live, <clears throat> what Z-Move I don't live. But we do have Melodic for um, an answer to that also. But if I'm already boosted, I'll probably just go straight for the kill with Clefable to go ahead and knock that thing out of the game, especially if I've eliminated the Crocodile there at that point. Next mon here we have Silver, our Cryogonal. And uh, this mon is a uh, is, is a special mon here this week. <clears throat> so it is uh it's speedy has 156 speed that is to out it's timid 156 speed and that is to outrun her let me check real quick let's see gotta be to outrun the crook so it's gonna be able to outrun the crocodile of course and um this mom's really here for the tapu fini and toby kiss uh it outspeeds both of those can fire off the freeze shot uh free shocks i wish freeze dries uh, and obviously uh, do a lot to each one of those respective mons. Uh, Kay just messaged me, so I'm kind of going to speed through these last ones. Have Scarf Chomp here, uh, again with enough speed for Scarf Crocodile. Have my rocks on that, but this thing's a really good revenge killer, especially if I eliminate the Toby Kiss and the uh, Rotom. <clears throat> and then we have our Zelf here, and Zelf is uh, really good against this team with all of its coverage moves as well. Uh, we really only have to fear the... Um, the Crocodile or the um, the Mega Zam with Shadow Ball. Uh, I have max speed on this, and that is is it max speed or no? It's one ten speed for the um, for the Frostlass. So for the Frostlass, I have Psy Shock for AD Gudra, and then Psychium obviously is just to nuke something. I hit this team perfectly with my coverage here. So yeah. Uh, that's what we're rocking with here this week. Kay has messaged me. Let's see if she is ready to jump in. So uh, she just ended the stream. She's going to get things set up. Tough girl Kay here. Uh, but yeah, really, really nervous for um, that that Mega Alakazam mostly because if it's Miracle Eye, it's going to be so much harder to play around. I'm hoping that just her front office is just completely overlooked um, that particular set and. I'm allowed to pursue trap it. Cause I'm allowed to pursue trap that thing and eliminate it. <clears throat> I think my squad can kind of handle the rest uh, here. Uh, we can't play around with Lucario too much. I do think Lucario is going to come, but uh, I definitely can't let that thing boost more than once. Uh, if if Clef is chipped or or whatever it may be, 
Life Orb's a lot less scary for me than Z. The Z, I've got to scout the Z with Clef, um, and potentially sack something off. So I feel like if I can play around the Lucario and the Mega Zam, I may be okay here in this uh, this matchup. The Rotom's going to be particularly scary too because I, I don't have a great way of dealing with the Rotom up front. I really need to get my rocks up just to pressure it throughout the game as it goes on. But who knows if she even brings it. She just may opt to bring the Toki Kiss here. Uh, she could bring the Sceptile also. The Sceptile could um, Sceptile could cause problems because she brought it last week, picked up a couple sneaky kills with it. But I do have the Clefable for that um, Unaware Clef. I, I really don't think, I mean, outside of like Specs, Specs, like Leaf Storm or something like that, it's not going to be doing a lot. So if it's, if it's Specs, uh, Muck's going to be able to eat it up. If it's uh, Physical, then uh, Clef should still be able to tank and eat it up also because uh, it can't boost on me or anything like that. And I don't think it gets like PJAB or anything. <clears throat> so yeah, just kind of rambling about my thoughts now. Um, kind of pointless until we actually get in here to this match. So I'm going to shut up for now. I'm going to cut again and then um, we should hop in when we're in, the, uh, we're, in the, we're in the game here, guys. So looking forward to it and really excited to be bringing the live comm here this week. Alright guys, so we are back, and we are jumping in to the battle now, and hopefully we won't have to change too many of these sprites. We've got it up here just in case. Really hate changing the sprites around in Vegas afterwards, so we'll change them live before, before we battle. So yeah, um, hopefully we can uh, bounce back here this week. We, uh, we definitely need this win. Alright, let's see. Let's see what she's going to bring. All my items are there. Everything is legal. Set all to 50. Perfect. Let the battle begin. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is she going to bring here? What am I going to have to remove? Really think the Lucario's gotta come here. I think that's that's hundred percent. Rotom, Gudra, and that thing, Tapu Fini. All kinda iffy. Let's see, let's see. What is she going to go with? <sighs> yeah, this is uh, this is pretty stressful here, guys. All right, she's done here. She found it. She's got the team in. All right, here we go. All right, so there's Lucario. Okay, no no Mega Zam, no Mega Zam. All right, I can live with that. I can live with the no Mega Zam. So we almost nailed it. No Gandalf here this week, guys. But instead, he's got the Togi Kiss. So the Togi Kiss is going to be a pain. <clears throat> Just adding her here to the uh, to the layout. Oh gosh, sorry for the earthquake there. This little baby Toby Kiss. All right, Toby Kiss is in. She's got her lead selected already. I think I know what I'm going to do. My plan was to lead with Melodic from the beginning. If she wants to lead Crocodile, I can uh, just fire off that Skull turn one. If she leads with the Feeny, I'm just going for the Mirror Coat. Right there, turn one also. So she did not bring the Mega Zam, which means she's not the Miracle I set, so thank God. I was so scared of Mega Zam. But she must have been fearing the muck, of course. <clears throat> and there's the crook, so that's perfectly fine here. That's perfectly fine. This is what we wanted. This is the matchup we wanted. 
There is there there is zero reason for me not to skull here turn one. If Feeny comes in, I get to find out if it's leftovers or not. This is the quickest and easiest scald of my life. I get a burn on something if it tries to come in, barring Feeny. She most likely goes Tapu Feeny here. She could knock off turn one, but I I I get her crook if she does that. You pull up the calcs here, close some of this out. Some of this garbage out. Melodic. Aurora against Crook. Alright, Scald does not actually kill it. I'm also not burned yet. But Feeny is most likely her play here. You gotta be Feeny. There goes the Crook. In comes the Feeny. Catfish. Gotta be the Feeny. Gotta be the Feeny. Of course, there's the Misty Terrain. And this really isn't going to tell us much about its spread. This is just going to tell us about its item. So, we're going to fire off the Scald. That's a decent decent amount. And we see no item. So, yeah. And my Flame Orb did not activate. That is important too. So that prevents my Flame Orb from activating. So, I, I really feel like the Nature's Madness is going to come out here. This is why I have Mirror Coat. There it is. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Beautiful. Mid. What a great shout out from you, my man. Great shout out from you. That's going to that's gonna take that Feeny out. There goes the Tapu Feeny, and that's the way to really start things here. That's awesome. Great, great shout out, Mid. Great shout out. Yes, yeah, so that, uh, that is something we talked about in our team builder. Melodic is picking up the kill on Feeny. <clears throat> So, that thing's going to drop, and that is a big, big issue for us going already. Now, I can still recover up later, too. I can recover up on things like the Gudra, or even the Crooked Isle. So, that's, that's wonderful, actually. Easy bake. Now, this, this thing's a bit of an issue. Where is Feeny at? I want to remove it from the layout. There it is. Okay. So, that thing is dead. Let's say it, it's the offensive pivot set. Volt, it's important, Volt Switch does not kill me. That's from Timid, Max Special Attack. Thunderbolt is going to be able to kill me, though. Yeah, Thunderbolt guarantees the kill on me. She could also HP ice me. <clears throat> so I could go into Garchomp here. She cannot burn me because Misty Terrain's activated. I could go into Muck. A bolt switch out though guarantees her the crook. Hmm. I really want my rocks up. I think we play it safe here and we just go into muck. Yeah, we're just gonna go into muck. It's gonna volt switch, probably. Hidden power, it went HP ice, okay. Thank god it did not go Garchomp. So that's HP ice most likely. And that does 13, 12 or 13 from max special attack, which puts her right there in range of that. So I want to weaken this with my man Muck here. I can pursue it. Pursuit it's going to be able to get off some solid damage. I think I'm just going to fire off a knockoff, though. Crook doesn't appreciate losing its item. Yeah, I'm going to knock off. Crook just doesn't appreciate losing that item. If, he, if she goes Lucario, that's, you know, obviously giving it a free plus one boost. But again, I, I, I have my... I have my... Um, Clef. 
Monowar Clef with Babiri Berry. So, you know, it is what it is there. <clears throat> so she tried to make the read there, turn two. All right, she's gonna make a double. Or no, no, dumb, duh. There's the crook, there's the crook. So we're gonna get rid of his item here at least. So what is this thing going to be? All right, we're getting rid of that berry. So she is the berry. And there is no reason for me not to go into Clefable here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Krogonal and Bites in Lucario, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go Elsa. Elsa's my check. Elsa's my check to this thing, so... We know it's not banded or anything like that. And there's the rocks. There is the rocks. So she's got the rocks up now. And which, that's that's going to do a number to chip towards chipping down my team, yes. I feel like there's no reason to not call mine, though, here. <clears throat> Go ahead and boost up. If she goes Lucario, we already know. We can lure it, kill it, eliminate that thing from the game. I think the Rotom could be Scarfed, very potentially. Easy bake. Easy bake the Rotom. All right, so Clefable's cool in. She's plus one, plus one. So. The Rotom cannot do much to me. I think I'm just going to Moonblast here, see what she wants to do. hope she's not Trick or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just going to Moonblast here. I guess she could be Trick. I think if she's Trick, though, she's already clicked it. She could Toxic me also, alternatively. But I showed Muck as my switch in last time. I just kind of want to Scout... I kind of want to see what this thing's going to do. Is it going to bolt switch out on me? Is it just going to overheat? What's it going to do? She's already revealed HP Ice on there. My best play. There's the bolt switch. So something now has to take this. Something now has to take this plus one moon blast. And I don't know of anything that wants to take that. So... That's what it is there on that. If she goes kiss, I'm probably going muck. Over easy. It's got to be, yeah, kiss. Okay. So I'm about to get some good information on this. this is plus one. All right, that's some excellent damage. So I did about 40% there to toga kiss. So let's see if she's defensive or specially defensive. Looking like she is defensive. <clears throat> I think that Rotom is uh, Bolt Switch, T-Bolt, HB Ice, Overheat. I think that thing's scarfed. I really do. So, I talked about how Crogonal was my dedicated switch into this. I like Crogonal to not come in on what I predict to be a... A, uh, T wave. I think this will be a T wave here. Or potentially a roost. Z move. What is this one? That flies Z? That's cool. That's really cool. So it's offensive Togekiss here. This, this, ooh. We got Z Tailwind up here now. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. 
All right, so that's gonna last four turns. So this is about to get intense here. This is about to get very, very intense here. So she's most likely going to be the air slash set. It's gonna be the crit air slash. So she, that means her crits are boosted plus one and she's gonna be going for the, uh, those, uh, yeah, the, the crits. So, <clears throat> If she is, her tailwind's up, she's got to go for the air slash crits though, it's time to have, crits aren't even doing that much to muck, they're doing 3 hit KO, P jab should kill. I think I'm going P-Jab. I'm going P-Jab. There's the Air Slash. There's there's one. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so there's a flinch. There's a flinch. I just want to get this P-Jab off. Let me get this P-Jab off. Here's another one right here. All right, so there was the crit. There's my Figgy. Right back up. Mm, there's another flinch. <clears throat> I'm gonna recycle here. Once Tailwind Peter's out, I'm not as afraid of this thing, so I can just go right out into Cryogonal. Okay, there we go. Pep. That's probably the Luke. Yeah. The monster is in now. All right, but her crits, her crits are over with. Crits are over with. She's not Z, so that that means this thing's probably going to be the life orb. So we're gonna go out into roar here. <clears throat> I'll see what she does. I'm sacking. I'm sacking Melodicall because she probably sets up here. This is the, this is one of the mons I'm most worried about. Sword stance. There's the SD. So I should die now. So I'm just going to go for a skull. I should definitely die to this. She's not Z move. But I definitely should be dying to this. E speed. I don't know if I died of that. Okay, I do die to that. And so she is life orb. She's plus two life orb. Well, let's let's see what Chomp takes first. Let's see what it's taking from E speed. It's only taking 60 from E speed. I kill it with the EQ. <clears throat> and it still gets some more switch ins to rocks. So I think that's my play here. I think I go out to my boy Chomp. And we're just going to fall off the EQ. So, Lucario kills my Melodic. She could preserve this thing, obviously, but I, I can't play around with this. She could obviously go for the E speed here and do a ton of damage to me. But, is what it is. E speed should leave me with about 50, and you see we only take 12 to rock. So he's not even going for the E speed. We're just going to pick up the kill. The chomp. So, not sure why she didn't go for the E speed. She must be wanting to set up with something else. Chomp KOs Luke. Thank God. 
Jesus, that thing's a huge problem. Let me get rid of Melodic off the way out here too. So Milo is gone. And there's Togekiss. <clears throat> and I think this is a switch. Dazzling Gleam here. I'm gonna go right back out into. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back out into Muck. God, I love my. I love to have my rocks up. Really love to have my rocks up. Chomp still can't go in quite yet. But. Alright, there's the Tailwind. There's the Tailwind still. Alright, so I did go for the recycle, I believe, my last turn. Yes, because I had my item. So I'm going to go for the P-Jab. Nice and safe here now. If Crook wants to come in, it could potentially take this. Get poisoned. But I've got my berry, too. So we're, we're just going to play the flinch game. Just, we just need to break through. One port. Go for a cycle. I mean, it's 60% 60, 60 in her favor, but I don't think I broke through once. Oh boy. And that's four. It's at least four air slashes used, so. <laughs> Come on. Getting nasty out here now. All I need is one breakthrough, though. That's all I need is one breakthrough. Alright, I'm going to start P-jabbing here. We just need one. Let's just get one breakthrough. <clears throat> We've kind of played around with this long enough. God. Okay, we broke through. We broke through. Alright. It takes care of that. Alright, there goes the Toga Kiss. So if we kill the Rotom. Well, no, actually, Dragon Claw Chomp looks that much better now. Hmm. Dragon Claw Chomp looks that much better now. So the Gujra could still be a problem. I think though with everything else I can handle the Crook though with Cryo. Uh, my Zelf my Zelf is EV to live a hit from a non-boosting item from Crook to live a knock. She ain't playing either. She went right on out in the crook. I think Muck has outlived its usefulness here, honestly. I think the best thing is to just sack it off. I've got two levitators. Is she really gonna EQ? I think she's going to EQ just to try to pick up the kill on me. I really do. My gut's telling me Cryogonal. So I don't think she's going to knock. I think she's going to quake. She just bulk up. She did. Scary girl. All right. So she's gonna knock here. Doesn't Clefable always beat this thing though? 
You can't uh, not sacrifice differential. That's iffy. Yeah, I'm not even going to play with this thing. I'm not going for to try to play around with it here. I'm just going for the just a straight kill. I mean, this isn't going to kill it by any means. A knockoff should definitely kill me though. Yeah, poor Croagonal. Just a sacrificial lamb here. Crook kills Cryo. Easy switch out in the chomp now. Bulk up. I think we're just gonna quake, honestly, just to guarantee the kill on this thing. Yeah, we're just gonna quake here. I'm not playing around with like a low roll or being max HP or anything like that. I just, I just want it dead. Chomp K is crook. <clears throat> she should go Rotom here. This one may be close. Just an HP ice. And I hate to kind of get stally here, but I, I need to recycle because it could it could come down to it with Gudra, and I really don't want it to come down to it with Gudra. I don't want to play around with that thing. I really, really, really don't want to play around with that thing. Like I said, I, I do hate to get a little stall here, but really feel like it's what I need to do. Just to guarantee a win. This thing's locked into HP ice. I could set up on it with a Zelf, but... I think I'm gonna jab here. I'm gonna jab just in case she goes Gudra, just for damage. She, I, we know she's locked in now, so she really could go Gudra here. Gudra's gonna, Gudra's gonna take a third though. So I'm gonna start attacking. Maybe we'll get a poison. Cause I gotta take three HP ices basically for all that. I'm gonna recycle. Yeah, I'm gonna recycle one up here. This is gonna get me to full. And this thing's gotta have earthquake to really even do anything to me. There's no reason to not recycle again. Again, I really hate to get stally with this, but I'm trying to guarantee me the win with as much points as necessary after my beatdown from General Tar Heel last week. Went to 11. It does about half. She's probably just AV. Alright, I'm done playing around, I promise. I'm gonna go ahead and knock off here. <clears throat> K 
get rid of its item. Probably AV. Gooey. What's it dropping? Salt vest. So let's assume. Let's assume that that did 40% Zelf here. Itself does not kill. She also does not kill. I can plot up. I'm going to Zelf. There's the quake. Draco Meteor. She's got to be like max attack though. I guess she could outrage me. I'm just going to side shock, man. I'm just going to side shock. Hopefully she's not Draco. Fire Blast. Ouch. Ooh, she's saving it. She's saving the Gudra. Alright, Zelf did a good bit there. So, my best play is to go Clefable here. I click Dragon Claw twice and I win. That's my best play. That's that's the play that's going to preserve me the most differential. I can tell if she's going to lock herself into HP Ice Bolt Switch, what exactly she's going to do. What's she going to do? Bolt Switch. Good play. Good play. She's keeping in this. She's hanging tough. She really is. So, she's most definitely Sludge, sludge Wave. She is most definitely the Sludge Wave. I could go for the 4-0 right now, but it is most certainly not my best interest. I could go Chomp on the Sludge Wave, but if, if she if she clicked Dragon Pulse, I could lose. So I'm not even going to risk that. Gudra's going to kill Clef here. Okay, Clef. And then Chomp should be able to come in and clean this up with a Dragon Claw. My boy Chomp. That's why I wish I had Outrage. Chomp should be able to finish this off here. So she played that. She played that in game, trying to put herself into a position to win there. That's actually forgot about Gooey. Thing. Well, there's no way I was not clicking that. So she's got to go for HP Ice here. So Blend Man should be able to finish this game off. We've, we've got to go for Differential after the 5 0 beatdown. We've got to. She's got to go for HP Ice. Yeah, there's the HP Ice. And we should be able to do it with a knockoff here. Just make sure. Okay, yes, thank you. Alright, great game to UK. Um, you know, I know this is very early on in your draft league career, but you played that very, very well. Uh so You've got an amazing team here this season. I really do expect you to do some big, big things. Uh so definitely keep your head up. Um You've uh, you played very well against Wolfie last week. I watched the game. You almost came through with that clutch septile there at the end, and you played very well here today too. You you really did. Um, so great game to you. Just definitely check out her channel, guys, if y'all haven't seen her in the description down below. 
Uh, she's new to draft league content, but she does a lot of other things on Twitch. Uh, she does a lot of other let's plays and things like that too. Huge shout out again to my front office. Thank you so much to Mid, Owen, Silver. You guys really came through this week with the uh, with the team prep, and uh, it really showed here in the battle today. So thank you guys so much again. But all right, guys. Uh, it's been about an hour now of me commentating and building the team here, so I'm going to get out of here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you for the support this season on the road to those 300 subs. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying the APA content. Sorry for not updating the, uh, the layout here. I also just realized that too. But yeah, guys, um, I had the cows pulled up. But yeah, anyways, thanks again so much for the support. And uh, we'll catch you guys in week three.